We're back again with one of my favorite areas in tech right now, mini PCs and the chips that power them. And there's hardly anyone better in this game than today's video sponsor, Geekom. We've got one of their A9 Max that's complete with one of AMD's newer APU chips, the Ryzen AI9 HX370. We'll go over the specific performance later on in the video, but it's impressive just how much power you get in this tight little form factor. Gaming, content creation, local AI models, the A9 Max Max delivers impeccable numbers in nearly every domain you'd want when you're looking to tuck a mini PC into your setup nooks and crannies for all for an incredible price too. It's roughly five inches on either side and less than two inches thick. This solid and drop resistant metal frame can squeeze nearly anywhere and endure some pretty aggressive and frankly abusive treatment. Because of its beefy exoskeleton, it can withstand me standing on it, well, me and a clone of me. It's rated for 200 kilograms of pressure. If you're subjecting your computers to that kind of force, I want to know what hobby or industry are you in that Geekom is designing their PCs for people like you. But it's not just the physical durability. It also has a UV coating of transparent resin that prevents scratches and keeps the appearance fresh and sleek, even after long use. And you're gonna wanna protect the innards of the A9 Max because it's hosting some serious bow wow wow. I already mentioned the HX370 chip and that thing has 12 cores, 24 threads at up to 5.1 gigahertz. That's already enough, but the integrated graphics is the Radeon 8 90M, a 16 compute unit chip that's based on RDNA 3.5. All of that's already enough for so many aspects of computing. Games will run great, as we'll go into in a minute. You've also got a nicely balanced CPU GPU combo for video editing and running local AIs. That's also excellent since you get up to 80 AI tops of performance out of the entire HX370 chip. That includes the 50 tops from the NPU and then what the CPU and GPU provide on top of that. And you combine that with support for up to 128 gigabytes of DDR5 sodium ramp and you've got a mini powerhouse. And you don't just get a lot of RAM capacity, but also two slots for storage. Geekcom's base configuration of this A9 Max gives you 32 gigs of RAM and two terabytes of SSD goodness, but you can easily upgrade that by cracking open the shell. But all of that oomph is useless if it overheats and throttles. But thankfully, Geekom has made that a non-issue with their Ice Blast 2.0 cooling system. Large copper heat sink, dual heat pipes, premium thermal compounds, high efficiency airflow interior, and a high performance low noise fan, all combined to create a cooling setup that lets you run your system without thinking about if it's gonna keel over on you, especially since it's got a 54 watt TDP, the tiny computer box really puts in the work without the sweats. Running everything at full tilt, we only saw temps as high as 68 Celsius. That's with CPU and GPU cranked to 100%. And we'll highlight some performance numbers in a jiffy, but first let's talk about what else the A9 Max gives you. IO-wise, on the rear, you're staring at your power in, two HDMI 2.1 ports capable of 4K at 120 hertz, with a total of four display outs possible when you add in the two additional USB 4.0 Type-C ports. Those little connectors support DisplayPort 1.4, power delivery, and data transfer up to 40 gigabits per second, adding in the possibility of an eGPU if you really wanted to expand your horsepower. Then you're gifted with two Ethernet ports capable of 2.5 gigabits per second, making sure network connectivity is robust. And then there's two more USB-A ports on the back. One's a 2.0 and the other's a 3.2. But wait, that's not all. On the front, you've got an easy access power button, unlike some other mini PCs, a headphone jack, and four more USB 3.2 ports for a total of eight USB ports on this little device. There's also a Kensington lock for keeping it safe and an SD card reader for ingesting footage to your mini workstation. And you can even slap it on the back of your monitor with its VESA mounting plate if you're so inclined to get it off your desk for that no cable look. Speaking of, wireless is also pretty sweet here too with Bluetooth 5.4 and Wi-Fi 7. And you might be an insy bit concerned with wireless performance since it is a metal box and metal plus wireless signals are known to play together. But don't worry, since Geekcom has thought of that and implemented 3D stereoscopic antennas for stronger signal reception and wider coverage to ensure smooth and stable Wi-Fi performance. But 
Wireless Fireless ain't the only area where the Geekcom A9 Max performs. Let's talk some real business. Looking at synthetic benchmarks like Cinebench 2024, this thing put up numbers of a single core score of 119 with a multi-core score of 1,144. And it could also churn in video games. We were able to test out Marvel Rivals at 720p and 1080p low with FSR 3 on, which just thankful that FSR technology allows us to get more power out of things like these APUs. At 1080p, we were getting 38 FPS average with a 31 1% low, but if you drop it down to 720p, you're playing Marvel Rivals at a 61 FPS average with 47 as the 1%. Cyberpunk AAA game at the Steam Deck settings, the 720p resolution got a 70.3 FPS average and 45.8 at the 1%, and at 1080p, we got 46 and a half FPS average with 27.6 as the 1% lows. You can also play a more older school remaster Oblivion at 720p low gave us 45 FPS average and 1080p was 31.6. And then also a newer title like Black Myth Wukong gave us 44.9 FPS average at 1080p low and 720p low yielded us 59.8, just right at that 60 FPS mark. So the Geekcom A9 Max really does provide a lot for nearly everyone who wants maximum performance in a minimum package. The AMD Ryzen AI9 HX370 gives you a ton of power for CPU tasks. The 890M gives you that for gaming and GPU accelerated workloads, and the RAM expandability allows you to load large AI models to your heart's content. And the best part? It starts at under $1,000. And by starts at, I don't mean a bare bones kit with no RAM or storage. It's $999 currently with 32 gigs of DDR5 and a two terabyte NVMe. And you can actually use our code listed below, a 9 max UFD 6 to get 6% off that price right now. It's really an unbeatable offering to be given phenomenal cosmic power in, in itty bitty living space. So big thanks again to Geekcom for sponsoring today's video. Check out the a 9 max at the link in the video description. And don't forget to use our code A9MAXUFD6 to get that 6% off when you're looking to pick up one of these for yourself.